and we're back and this time I'm going to show you the basics of using the rectangular grid tool in Adobe Illustrator. It's a great tool that we can use to create tables and guides. You can find it over here. We right click on the line segment tool, then just left click on your canvas and you open the menu for the rectangular grid. You can just type in the size. I've got an 800 times 800 canvas. I'll make it 600 times 600. Dividers, horizontal and vertical are self explanatory. And if we click on OK, we've got this grid. So we've got 6 times 6 squares. Let us create another one. And this time we'll check the fill grid. You can see there is no fill. And I haven't selected a fill color. We can use that after we've created it like this. No problem. But once we've got a fill color selected, we can simply create a new rectangular grid. And when we've got the fill checked, it's automatically added as a fill color, in this case, the red. Let us create another one. I'll uncheck the fill grid, and this time I'll play around with the skew. I'll just use minus 25% for the horizontal dividers, and if I click on OK, you can see what the skew does. So it makes all of these horizontal lines smaller the further we go down by 25%. Let us get rid of the grid fill color in the top two. I'll make sure one is selected. You can size it up holding shift and alt. That keeps the proportions. You can also free transform it. When you've got it selected, you can go to View, Guides, and then Make Guides. And this is how you can turn this grid into a guide grid. So we can't select it now anymore as I've got my grid locked. But this is the other basic function of the rectangular grid tool. As I've said, you want to use it to create tables or grids most of the time. And these are the basics of using the rectangular grid tool in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.